Question 151. An animal belonging to a taxon which includes most primitive craniates is Myxene, Pristis, Clarias, Acedia. Option number 1. Myxene. It belongs to class Cyclostomata. And fishes belonging to this class have a sectorial circular mouth. And these fishes are indeed most primitive craniates here. So Myxene is right. Option number two, Prostase is a cartilaginous fish. Clarias belongs to class Ostichthys. It means it has a bony endoskeleton. And Acedia, option number four. Acedia is placed in Eurocordates. And members of Eurocordates are considered to be most primitive acraniates. Thus, most primitive craniates belong to class Cyclostomata, whereas Eurocordates are most primitive acraniates. The correct answer is option number one, Mixine. Question 152. A disease characterized by weakness and bowing of weight bearing bones and dental defects in children occurs due to deficiency of calciferol, thymine, retinol, biotin. The disease which leads to weakness and bowing of weight bearing bones, that is, bones of the legs, is rickets. Rickets is a disease that is caused in children due to deficiency of vitamin D. And vitamin D is a form of calciferol. And this could also lead to dental defects, that is abnormality in the size, shape or eruption pattern of teeth. So option 1, calciferol would be the correct answer. Option 2, thymine. The deficiency of thymine would result in disease called beriberi. That is vitamin A. Its deficiency would result in night blindness. And biotin, option number four, that is vitamin B7. Vitamin B7 is essential for the normal growth of nails, skin, hair, etc. The correct answer here is option one, calciferol. Question 153, match column A with column B and choose the correct option. Column A includes adhesions disease, exophthalmic goiter, acromegaly, diabetes insipidus. Column B includes adenohypophysis, neurohypophysis, adrenal cortex, thyroid gland. I can see diseases or disorders that are lined in column A, whereas glands or parts of glands in column B. Let's go over them one by one. Option 1. Addison's disease occurs due to underproduction of hormones by adrenal cortex. It's characterized by muscle weakness and fatigue. So option A would go with option 3 in adrenal cortex. Option B, exophthalmic goiter is a form of hyperthyroidism also known as Graves disease. This is seen due to hyperactivity of thyroid glands. So B goes with 4 of column B. C, acromegaly. Acromegaly occurs due to hypersecretion of growth hormone from anterior pituitary after puberty. An anterior pituitary is adenohypophysis that is 1. So C goes with 1. And option D, diabetes insipidus is characterized by frequent urination or water loss from the body and is seen due to deficiency of antidiuretic hormone secreted by posterior pituitary. That is neurohypophysis here. So D goes with 2. Looking at the various combination, A goes with 3, B with 4 and C with 1. The correct answer here is option number 3. Question 154. HCL is not involved in activation of hydrolytic enzymes, killing harmful bacteria, conversion of iron to its absorbable form, absorption of vitamin B12 by intrinsic factor. The role of HCL secreted in the stomach is very important. We have to find out what it is not involved in. Option number one, activation of hydrolytic enzyme. This is true. HCL activates certain enzymes like it converts pepsinogen 
this is the inactive form a proteolytic enzyme into its active form that is pepsin and this happens due to the action of HCl so this is a true statement option 2 killing harmful bacteria yes this is also true the HCl or the acid in our stomach acts as a physiological barrier option number 3 conversion of iron to its absorbable form this is also true it solubilizes the ferric ions thus the absorption of iron is made possible due to action of HCl so these three are correct option number four absorption of vitamin B12 by intrinsic factor intrinsic factor is also called as Castle's intrinsic factor and Castle's intrinsic factor is secreted by same cells which secrete HCl that is parietal cells of the stomach these cells secrete Castle's intrinsic factor this factor binds with vitamin B12 and prevents the degradation of vitamin B12 and B12 later is absorbed in the ileum in the absence of this Castle's intrinsic factor this vitamin B12 would get degraded and won't be available for absorption leading to its deficiency so option number four reads absorption of vitamin B12 by intrinsic factor thus HCl is not involved in the correct answer would be option four here question 155 the parasympathetic nervous system favors digestion and absorption of food by increasing gastric secretion activity of intestinal musculature pancreatic secretion blood glucose level how many of the above statements are correct one two three Four. on activation of parasympathetic nervous system the secretions of GIT are increased the peristalsis or the peristaltic activity is also increased and because of this the absorptive activity of the GIT is increased thus parasympathetic nervous system favors digestion and absorption of food and what does it increase it does increase gastric secretion and activity of intestinal musculature is also increased pancreatic secretion as well but option D blood glucose level this is increased by sympathetic stimulation and not parasympathetic stimulation the sympathetic stimulation prepares the body for flight or fight situations and blood glucose level is increased by sympathetic part of ANS so among the given options so in A B C and D three are correct the correct answer here would be option number three that is 